Hello, I am Jared Espencheed, and this is my final presentation for the ART 250 photography class at UCWV with Mr. Logan Taylor. For my culminating assignment, I chose five distinct photos to represent what I have learned this semester. The five photos that best represent me are named Fovio Centralis, The Gardener, Starseed, Sunstone, and Too Close. For my composition photograph, I chose Fovea Centralis. This photograph has a striking radial balance, balanced exposure, and good lighting. I chose a black and white photo to emphasize the light contrast over color, which gave the photo an ideal visual weight. The setup was about six inches from the subject on a sunny day to emphasize as much detail as possible. I was experimenting with different points of focus at a shallow depth of field. This particular focus point created an illusion that looked like an iris, which I feel makes it very intriguing. I find myself immediately focusing on the center and out to the end of the hair-like ends of the dandelion. For the light category, I chose the gardener. Setting up for this photo, I placed the fern on the left third and placed the subject close to the center of the photograph. This play on the rule of thirds was intended to pull the viewer's focus away from the center to the delicate fern. I wanted the image to look as if the beetle was crossing the fern from left to right. The soft greens create a balanced contrast with the deep black and orange color in the center. The harsh lighting created a great exposure with very little noise. The texture of the fern and catch lights on the beetle are displayed prominently, making this photograph come to life. Starseed is an excellent representation of the black and white project. This photograph was an attempt on the golden triangle that I learned during our composition project. However, it ended up being a bit more center weighted. I believe this was a result of my eyes position on my camera. This photo makes great use of the sunny day, allowing for a balanced exposure with limited noise. The textures on the leaf at the bottom of the photograph and the clarity of the petals created a very striking image. For perspective, I chose Sunstone. Sunstone was an attempt on a three-point perspective using the harsh light from the sun to create a sunburst effect on the image. After experimenting with several photos, I found an angle, ISO, and aperture setting that worked well together. The image came out a little underexposed, but created a great contrast against the blue sky and bright sun. This created a great effect on the final image, which kept its focus in a deep depth of field. I really like how the monolith seems to have light emanating from behind it. The last photo is from the portrait category named Too Close. This photo was indicative of my inexperience with portraits and my reliance on the shallow depth of field. The photo does have a balanced exposure with a good focus on the subject, and the lighting and visual weight of the image have a great balance, bringing the viewer's focus to the mouth of the subject. However, if I would have used a deeper depth of field, I would have gotten a better focus on the eyes. I feel this would have produced a more dynamic photograph in the end. Through the duration of this course, I've learned several techniques on how to be more successful when taking photographs. I've definitely learned what my strong points are and what my shortfalls are. I feel that the biggest takeaway from this course is to take time with the subject, set up your photograph. It's very easy to take several photographs and hope one image turns out okay or good, but being conscious of how and why you're taking a photo of the subject allows you to achieve more consistent and more effective photographs. 
Thank you.